Hello everyone. Now I'm going to continue my talk on modal verbs discussing obligation and permission in the past. Please understand some strange laws in the past and then also check the underlined statements. All right, now we can start from A. Uh, some strange laws in the past from A is um, noblemen weren't allowed to wear beards. They had to pay a special tax. And B, female teachers couldn't get married or go out with men. Uh, they had to resign from their job. Male teachers could get married and have children. C. They didn't have to pay. And D. You weren't allowed to eat ice cream soda. Okay, now we can move to the patterns. Present and past forms of Verbs. Do you still remember the present form of modal verbs? Yes, I hope you do. Now see the table. In present form, you have must, have to, have got to. And in the past form, it becomes had to. And doesn't or don't have to becomes didn't have to. Can, can't. The past form is could or couldn't. Is or allowed to or not allowed to. The past form is was or were allowed to or if it is negative wasn't or weren't allowed to and mustn't becomes wasn't or weren't allowed to or you can also use couldn't okay so it still has the same meaning but uh, when it is used or they are used in the past form, you change with this pattern or this form. All right, now it's time to do the exercise. Well, for a few minutes, I need you to guess the answers. Um, use the past form of modal verbs and you can use more than one modal verb. Do it now.
Okay, done. In Switzerland, women couldn't or weren't allowed to vote until 1971. In New Zealand, on the other hand, women were allowed to vote from 1893, making it the first country in the world to give women the vote. Okay, uh, jadi nomor satu itu adalah bahwa di Switzerland perempuan atau wanita tidak diizinkan atau tidak dapat uh, ambil suara. Sedangkan in New Zealand uh, wanita atau perempuan diizinkan untuk uh, vote. Next, number two. 75 years ago in Britain, anyone could or was allowed to drive a car on the open road without taking a driving test. People didn't have to take a test until 1935 when the first practical road test was introduced. From 1996, the test was changed and learners had to take a theoretical test as well. Jadi sekitar 75 tahun yang lalu di Britain, itu siapapun bisa dapat atau diizinkan untuk mengendarai mobil. And then, orang-orang uh, atau masyarakat tidak harus tes. Hingga tahun 1935. Dari tahun 1996, tesnya diubah. Dan mereka harus um, mengikuti tes teoritis. Oke. Okay. Next. You will learn about some idioms related to rules and freedom. Number one, in trouble with the law. It means being questioned by the police in connection with something illegal or criminal. Example, the suspect has often been in trouble with the law. Bermasalah dengan hukum uh, Dalam pengertiannya Diinterogasi oleh polisi yang berkaitan dengan Masalah atau sesuatu yang uh, ilegal Atau dianggap kriminal Number two Above the law It considers that someone does not have to obey the laws that apply to everyone else. Example, sometimes elected officials violate regulations because they think they are above the law. Makna dari above the law adalah orang-orang yang tidak tunduk pada hukum yang berlaku di masyarakat. Next. Let your heart rule your head. To do something based on one's own personal desires rather than for practical reasons. Example, I think she knows that a relationship with him will eventually end in tears, but she is letting her heart rule her head. Let your heart rule your head. Uh, mempunyai makna melakukan sesuatu berdasarkan emosi atau ya bukan secara logika dalam hal ini uh, karena keinginan kalian sendiri and then number four make it a rule to act according to a principle example I make it a rule not to eat fatty foods uh, makna dari make it a rule adalah Membuat aturan And then, next 
bend the law or rules. To change the rules in a way that is considered to be not important or not harmful. Example, can you bend the rules a little? I was only a few minutes late. Makna idioms yang kelima adalah melanggar aturan. And then, the last idiom is freedom of maneuver. The space and ability to make changes to something. Example, hurry up. We don't have much freedom of maneuver in our schedule. Idiom yang keenam adalah kemampuan untuk mengubah sesuatu. We've come to the last slide and you may ask questions, give comments or suggestion in the forum. Thank you for watching this video. See you.